two setups here. They're somewhat Demuthian. Uh, if anyone wants to take a look at Demuth again um, and some of that uh, using those angled cloth directional so uh, Demuth again take hints from uh, some of these where the, the cloth folds. It's, it could be a challenging, super realist, verisimilitude, how the folds are, how cloth is um, tre treating drapery, or it can be treating what drapery and folds, <laughs> their function. What do they do? And they, by their folds, they show um, angles and, and emphasize. This is a very um, precisely planned, the, both of those are very triangular, <laughs> pyramidal, if you want. Um, and uh, so, so they, um, those directionals of the folding and the drapery are meant to lead you into, into the composition, which then pretty soon you will see is very triangular. And um, one has that pot, the other doesn't. That was a little controversy, so you, I think if you like one, pick it. Um, and there's a color harmony that I'm sure it won't take very long to pick up on. I won't even give you a clue what the colors are. You can figure that out. So that said, the next thing is, you, that, these are here because um, I knew I would have to provide something in case you don't want to do trees. What? I'm really talking about, which is something we've talked about before, starting with the impulse of the brush. Here's, here's the handout. It's, it's, some of you would have seen about two years ago we did that. And I, would, I might just give a little talk over here about that. And then on the back of it is borrow a tree. I'm trying, again, for those who might be interested, to get you to take something, one of these trees, uh, there are lots, I have a whole bag of stuff. Uh, and take it as your base uh, to do a kind of made up painting. These, these are a British uh, watercolor painter, Lucy Willis, who all, paints all of this, this little Hernan, like you were saying in the birch painting. Um, uh, she does all this inside, outside, negative, and, uh, you know, and uh, what a wonderful treatment of. Um, of the foliage of uh, um, cherry blossom and apple. But this is my copy or my adaption. Um, and what what she went for, which is important, is you know you characterize what's happening with a certain tree. And in this, it's the changes of color, the little uh, slight things. These are not white paint. This is uh, painting around a little bit around the, the foliation. And if you take a look, uh, you'll see a, a very bit of pale blue. Um, and then the white blossoms at the top uh, are left. Um, and so you get the whole effect. Very lovely. Um, so I am going to, though, use uh, Van Gogh. And that's, you may recall, that's what we did before. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful book. Uh, Master Bingo. Um, it's basically his drawings. Um, remember that the word drawing is often used um, in technically in, uh, watercolor. is included in you know, when you go to a museum or the archives, it will often be that's how it's categorized because it's, it's a work on paper. What I'm going for with this impulse of the brush is this amazing, wonderful uh, variety that he gets from change of stroke, sometimes change of reed pen, which a lot of these are done with, um, sometimes amount of ink. So you get the color and the changes just simply by the drawn uh, or, or watercolor painted line. Um, simplified in the sense that you really see the change of of the stroke, the motion, the... That's uh, watercolor? That's uh, actually, this is probably like ink. Yeah. It's reed pen and ink over graphite. So, impulse of the brush. I'm going to simply show what I mean here. I'm doing a tiny bit of 
uh, laying down the, let's say this is what I'm doing. Um, these places here are shadows from these trees. Um, and like and if any of you have done gra graphics in any way, prints, um, etchings, or you know, observe them at any great extent, you will know that you know the way in which you build up, or you look at an old a Rembrandt, or you look at um, many other graphic artists, um, and the, the, it's built up often with cross hatching, so that the color, you know, the color being really the values that, that change, are all done um, are done with building it up, not not with washes, uh, and so. The reason I'm just pulling this in as something to add into your thoughts about painting is, is that it's a different thing, but it it can have its own sort of energy in a painting. Um, manganese and quinacridone, or orange, or is it? Yeah, which is a sienna, essentially, or an orange, however you want to phrase it. So um, the impulse of the brush is you need to, I'm, I mean, I'm going to more or less do what he did. And you can see how he changes um, directions. I'll just, that's too much. Um, uh, I'm trying, he's getting the quality of the um, a bush, it looks like, back here, or a tree of some sort. And then he builds up more and more. Um, I'm using this filbert brush that I talked about privately with Karen, only with Karen last week. It's our uh, secret. It's a secret. Oh, no, it's uh, it's a brush I quite like. Um, and the only problem is you cannot find it. We tried last semester. Nobody's been able to find this. No. Um, I'm not trying to follow everything he does because you have to, whatever source you pick, you pick um, you're going to have to uh, adapt your own black thing velvet. so you get the silver black velvet. They have a filbert that is pretty good actually. I don't have it, but I do. Silver use black velvet. Yeah. What, what <coughs> you're trying to do is by um, a little bit of change in the wash, just, you know, stronger. Uh, less, more watery, um, and the change of your touch, uh, build up um, some kind of sensation of whatever you're doing. Um, and so you're thinking about the, um, the, the weight, I'll, I'll put in a, one of these shadows, Oop, too much. Um, when, the, when the strokes are much closer to, to each other, it builds up the equivalent of a wash, a wash with sort of pointillism. This is a good way, again, to get familiar with a brush, brush. Mm -hmm. and how much you can do. I mean, there might be somebody who would either change to this brush or, um, and I'll just do it, uh, you know, because what, what could be more appropriate than a round for doing a sort of pointillist um, thing in this grasses in the back here. Um, I kind of like the idea of, of using uh, just one so that you learn so you how to exploit it. Yeah, right. and so that you learn that, you know, it goes this, it goes that. Um, where am I? You can turn it. Yep, you can turn it, you can, uh, and of course you can, <coughs> This. I love that brush. And it's a, it's a fun brush to see. Uh, I mean, it's also, it can become a calligraphy, literally right, calligraphy yes, yes. brush. And we could be turning to some of these in here where he does water and, and um, exactly that kind of control. Now I'm um, just doing this little pointillist stuff. So um, I guess I would say that this, this is your warm-up practice, if you want. That where if 
try to see? Are, do you have an instinct to put one down and take up another because of the way you want to get the weight? Or, um, do, or do you exploit its um, what it can do with just one brush? So um, I think it's always a good thing to you know, find out for yourself what you're doing, what is your instinct. Um, and if you, if you do an exercise like this, the, the good thing about the instinct is uh, you, you start, um, you really concentrate and you say, hmm, um, you know, now I see what, where I could get something more out of my brush than, than I was, or not. Um, so uh, I'm not going to do the whole thing, I just want to get this idea. Um, and how you how you change weight partly by the wash <coughs> itself. I mean, you could make a very strong wash too. Um, um, so, so this is it's now I'm changing amount of uh, wash and the and the weight of the wash itself. But also, I am putting the, the um, strokes closer. And this is coming towards you. Um, you know, it, it is a little, it's darker, it's nearer to you. That's another thing. Uh, there are areas where he creates some whole air, you know, a whole weighted area. But quite frankly, you could have fun with that. Quite frankly.